Hi everyone, in this short video I wanted to show you how you can avoid the dreaded wall of tasks and how you can structure your notes with your list of tasks so that it's still readable, it's breathable and easy to read, it's clean and uh, you can identify which tasks are important, which have a higher priority and where you should continue working on. Because nothing is worse than just a huge list of unprioritized tasks where you don't know where to start. It's very frustrating, even anxiety inducing because you feel like you need to do something but you don't know where to start. So here are a couple of methods I use, actually very simple methods to make things more readable and so I know where I can continue to work on. Uh, depends also how I feel and what I want to work on in specific. So first of all I use not more than two or three H2 headings in my daily notes and usually it's today's plan so I don't need to invent a new heading every day and the other one is for me no plan or any kind of project name you might have and uh, sometimes I add another one like errands if, you have, if I have particularly many errands on this day and then the next level is I have a quote which I type of greater than in markdown and then space and this I use to write down a stream of thoughts. So I get everything on paper or uh, in a note, digital note in this case, and I can then f uh, infer tasks from there. And the next one, so I have uh, the normal tasks here also in my notes, of course, and I segment them in two ways, at least two ways. Uh, so one, I have also kind of mini headings for uh, groups of tasks. So I group the tasks in different visual blocks and I add spaces or not spaces, empty lines between those groups, like between learn and finances groups here, for example. I have uh, just an empty line in this case and I added a, a it's not really a heading, it's just a plain text with a colon in this case. So it's easy to figure out what it is about. So basically I group a small amount of tasks into visual groups. So they are not really in a specific node or in a specific named list or so. It's just something I grouped on the fly. So you don't need to think about too much. Just give it a name so it's visually easy to scan and read. So this is about finance and this is about learning. So it's a couple of resources I want to go through, podcasts, videos, articles and so on, for example, in this case. Here below no plan, I usually have the most important tasks, uh, work related at least. And above no plan and below the today's plan, I usually have more personal errands or like learning errands. I don't really need to do them to in order um, to advance my work in no plan, for example. But uh, sometimes these are personal tasks, also not always super important ones, but I want to keep them around and keep advancing them as th there as well. So here you see I have like the most important task I would say for the day grouped, also visually grouped here. I didn't add another uh, mini, mini heading or how you want to call it, it's just the no plan heading. But here you see I have another group of tasks which comes after this and I just split it by an empty line, nothing more. So you can also use the usual uh, three dashes to have a separation line in Markdown, but I don't like it so much because it adds again visual weight to it. I prefer just to have an empty line in between, so just two line breaks basically. And below this I have a list of tasks and you see it looks like a wall of tasks, but I'm still relaxed about it because this is something I collect over time. These are bugs for which I need to fix for no plan in this case. And uh, this group of tasks, you see there's also a empty line in between, a line break, because I've prioritized these tasks already. So from the top to the bottom, these are the most important ones. And I have made a break here in between because these are tasks which, don't re which I don't really want to do, maybe, but uh, the first ones are more important. So if I get through this list very quickly, I can still do something from here, but it's not a must have. So the tasks or the bug fixes here above it, uh, I really want to fix and then I could go to this one. So it's like, a, it's not super strict. It's like a loose uh, rule for me, but this is how I visually split it up because if it becomes more, I would even split up this list into another empty line here in between and add it here. So I know, okay, these are super important. These are like medium important. 
and these are less important. Maybe I can ignore them. So my favorite tool, as you see, is just an empty line uh, in between the lists, so I can group them. Then I really like to have uh, like this light version of a heading above the group of tasks, especially if it's like two or three. And yeah, otherwise the bigger real headings, but not too many of them because they're also too heavy if you overuse them. And yeah, that's basically it, um, how you can structure your daily note. Thanks for watching.